Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this handle. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. All right, I redid this end cap once more. I was trying to do this with this. And this is so thin, the only way to hold it is it popped out and bent and all that. Only took three tries and I got it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I even made this smaller, or, or I keep saying smaller. I made this lower, and I just brought it to a point. So now let's get to the grinder and get this all shaped up. I think I'm gonna do the bevels up to a high grit, and then see where we're at, and see what we're doing with everything, and take it from there. All right, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all that good stuff. My website is the first in the description, and up in the cards, you can find knives on there, shirts like this, Amazon links and they're all in the description too. All right, let's just get to it. I got that same 80 bell I'm just gonna kind of grind it down and then we'll put a higher 120 or something on there. I just want to get it roughed out first. I'm gonna put a new 80 on here. <laughs> this one's a been through hell. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. I don't. Ha 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 ha. Much easier. <laughs> Especially since I'm holding it with my bad hand like that, so. Ha 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 it's still kind of sticky though, so I thought of that the other day and I was like, oh, hmm, it doesn't keep it cool. I'm going to put it back on the knife. That's nerve-wracking. <laughs> I'm trying not to hit into here. I mean, I got room, but I don't want to put any big gouges in. Little scratches are fine, but... Whew. 
And I'm, I'm trying to keep it over here to get it down to the wood and then move it over here so I don't hit this. <laughs> At least I figured out to hold it by the blade. <laughs> Not trying to hold it by the handle. I'm learning as I go, so... Uh... Alright, we're pretty close. Let me get these cameras. I'm gonna do the rest on the slack belt. <laughs> little touch and go there for a minute. I was worried about this back cap. I think I'm about to bring it down just a little bit more so it's all even. Yeah, I'm gonna have to round it off anyway, but Woo! Man, I kept seeing all this like right here there's a little spot of epoxy and stuff. Man, we're getting there. Yeah. It's kinda late. We'll see. I should just skip over and say, all right, to the next grinder, but I think it, I might take a little break. All right, I'll see you at the other grinder. <laughs> so I think uh, I'm gonna go on the horizontal grinder now. I was debating whether doing the bevels or do this, but I'm gonna take the end cap off and take this. First, I wanna kind of draw around here, draw around here, get it kind of straight. Then I'm gonna have to round it off anyway, but. We'll see. Oh, I'm going to tape this up before I take that off. Because I'm just going to do the handle at first. You know, on the horizontal grinder. And then we'll see where we're going from there. Just in case that the heat from that last part messed this up some. I don't want it moving while the, while the pummel's off. Pummel. I keep calling it pummel like I'm going to pummel somebody. <laughs> while the pummel is off. <laughs> I noticed that in the last video. <laughs> it's like, why do I keep saying pumble? <laughs> There's no, no BLE in it. <laughs> so I got that drawn out. Let's take this off. The other thing I got to admit I'm worried about is how thin these this top and bottom were. And I don't want to bust through. I mean, I'll have to fix it with epoxy if I do, but let's try to round this all off and make it look good on the horizontal. That's one thing I love about this reader. Well, one of the many things I love. You can actually set this back as far as you want. So you don't have to sit there on the KMG. If you want a slack belt on the front, you gotta take the whole uh, platen off. But this, you can just slide it back as far as you want. I like to have it so it has just a little bit of give. And then if I want the full, I can just come over here. It's one thing good about having two cameras. This camera gets this side, and this camera gets this side. <laughs> If you guys remember on my horizontal, if you watch my channel for a while, I made this. It's just a piece of wood. I drilled a big old hole in it and then like made a canal and slid the Allen wrench in. But this is a bigger Allen wrench, but it fits everything. All right, let's get to it. 120. Then we'll go to 240 and see where we're at.
Let's try some tries that. <laughs> Let me do this before before I forget. Aaron at the uh, Family AK, if you, if you watch this channel and you know, part of the community on this channel, you know who uh, Aaron is, Family AK. He reminded me, he's like, man, I had to do my end caps with a drill and put it in. I used to do it like this, and it's a good way to finish, so I'm gonna hit it while I got the Trizac on here and see what we can do. Oh yeah, just a little bit of polishing and we should be good. A65, let's see what we can get this handle looking like. Woo! <laughs> A30, a new A30, but I'm probably gonna use this on my uh, bevels too. Why well, I got the 30 on here, I might as well clean all that off. Got a little too close and knocked that nail off. <laughs> well, at least people can't complain about my long nails anymore. <laughs> all right, small wheel attachment. Actually, let me hit this all on here and see what we can do with it. At least we got all the lines going one way. Everything's kind of even like that. Let's get this back on the handle and the small wheel attachment and see what we can do. 120, I'm just gonna shape it because I'm gonna try to get that little notch out and smooth this all out. <clears throat> Someone on Facebook asked me what I planned on making. I told him I don't know. I just make it up as I go along. <laughs> I have a basic idea, but the rest is uh Flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs>
Tell you, this wood's as bad as carbon fiber. I gotta kinda keep the mask on as I talk. I think the handle's just ready for sanding. If I do any more, man, I don't know. The more I try to take that out, the more bigger it gets. So I'm gonna have to epoxy it and sand it, put some sawdust in it or something. But uh, let's see if we can get some bevels. I got dinner, but then we'll come back and do some bevels. Plus I wanna let all this wood clear out. We're gonna start with the 240 here. Cause once I etch this, you can see some of these lines are pretty thick. The reason I always used to skip from 120, or I started skipping from 120 to Trizac, you gotta knock down these 240s. Trizacs, you don't have to knock down the seams. But, uh, let's just get on it. I made that tip way too thin. I think I'm about to flatten that down some. Let me put the 120 on and do that. And then I'm gonna mark center. I thought all I had to do was take some off, but I guess I guess I got lazy and just wanted to dip it and test it. I didn't really finish it. I thought it was finished. I knew something looked off, I just didn't want to, uh, I just didn't want to admit it to myself. It's not that bad. It just looked bad. It's actually good because I'll bring it up a little bit here and that'll bring that curve in like I got here. Hopefully. <laughs> Back to 120. Let's do this right. That was a problem. I still got more to go down. I wasn't, uh, I don't know what I was doing. There was a whole bunch of, you know, the edge was thin, but right here, that's why these were off. Because man, I didn't bring, I guess I just brought it up like that. And then, you know, I wanted to test that it, but man, you can still see probably right here, there's a facet where this still needs to come down to here. It's going like this. So I gotta just bring all this meat out of the middle here and bring it down. Whew! Man, shortcuts sometimes, <laughs> oh, shortcuts sometimes pay off, but man, not with grinding. All right, 
Back to 865. That was a little touch and go, <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go up to like a, well, this is 65, so I'm gonna go up to a 30, and then put on like the 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, so I'll come back at 2,000. Whew, we're getting there. I kind of hit it on the buffer a little bit, so that's what all this is. I've been using two belts, one to hang over and one for the flats, but I, I think I, you know, I'm gonna have to hand sand the flaps because I got all this Vaseline or something. So I'm gonna have to hand sand the flaps, so. We're getting there. I think I'm gonna have to hand sand the swedges. Now that I figured out how to do swedges a little bit better, I figured it out too late for this knife, so we're gonna have to hand sand. Anyway. All right, I'm just gonna go buff this rest of it out, and uh, I'll meet you at the bench probably tomorrow because I gotta go upload this and edit this and all that crap. So, see what we got going here. Well, that's about it. Whew, nice and shiny. <laughs> if I can keep my my dirty paws off it, I keep getting spots all over it. But we're getting there. Yeah. Can't wait to dip this. I gotta clean it off a few times. I got some brass cleaner, so hopefully that'll work. I kind of touched it on where I hit with the regular metal and it made it all nasty and dirty. It's like, oh, I guess you can't use steel for brass. So, <laughs> you know me and always trying to experiment, but whew. Yeah, the last part is just gonna be finished work and getting little parts touched up and getting everything perfect and Oh man, whoo, yeah, ha <laughs> ha, right on, right on, ha <laughs> ha, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff, I got shirts like this and like five knives on my website, which is the first in the description, and also up in the cards, hope y'all are having a great day, and as always, take it easy.